Heather Fernando, nice job writing more essays in order to prepare for IELTS. Great work. Let's get right into the correction. All right, so here's what you had to say. Um, do copyright laws limit creativity or do they reward it? Would society function better without such rules and regulations? That's what you had to say. The debate on whether copyright protection laws are beneficial or prejudicial prejudicial to societies has taken importance over the last few decades. While some view copyright regulations as limitations to creativity, others think um, they acknowledge the work achieved. This essay will take into account studies from MIT and IPI to support arguments. Just a, heads, just a heads up, it's not the MIT, it's just MIT, but that's not really important. Okay, on the one hand, Far from limiting creativity, patents allow for creators to be compensated for their work. This is because innovative ideas are put out in the market where consumers are willing to pay a fair retribution to the developer. I'm not really crazy about this word here. There is a better synonym um, that would fit. Recent studies by MIT show that cutting-edge patented products can be sold on average 20% faster than a similar previously launched product even when the prices are lower. Therefore, patenting a product gives authors certainty of compensation for their work. Okay, that's nice. On the other hand, regulated society in the copyrights field have proven to be more successful in creating original projects or products or services than those without regulation. The origin of success resides in the fact that societies with copyright laws have a more dynamic economy derived from the need of companies and individuals to innovate to stay afloat. A survey by the IPI reveals that 60% of companies take into account local copyright regulations when it comes to expanding their R&D centers. The existence of copyright infringement laws is therefore beneficial to society's development of new ideas. That's lovely. As a conclusion, the existence of patents benefits society's economic growth at a collective and individual level. Okay. I would have said on, but that's okay. Um, since copyright regulations have had a significant growth and will continue to do so, more and more societies, corporations, and individuals shall be protected and benefited around the world. This was lovely. I mean, you can see that I really changed very little. Uh, it was very well written. Um, I think I made like one or two suggestions. It, it was, it was, it flowed well. So it was a really good, it was a really good job. I mean, there was a lot of natural language. There was a lot of really good uh, collocations and grammar. Uh, so this is a very nice attempt, Fernando. Let's take a look now at your second essay. Okay, so here it is. It's the formal letter to Albion University. Let's see what you had to say about this. Okay, um, dear Mr. or Madam, first of all, we don't say Mr., we say Sir. All right? So, dear sir or madam, I am writing this letter to offer you my sincerest apologies for failing to attend the examination last week. My name is Fernando Manuel Barrera, and then you give your ID. Uh, I am currently enrolled in the fourth semester of the PhD syllabus. Okay, fine. On the day of the examination, despite... Um, okay, since this is formal, the best thing to do is to say my being very aware. Um, I know it's a really kind of fine grammar point, but in more formal settings, we actually use the possessive in front of an ing, okay? Whereas in a less formal setting, it's okay to use this form of the, of the pronoun um, before the ing. But since this is supposedly a formal letter, and so far your writing has been rather formal, um, you would want to say, despite my being very aware, and I'm actually going to tell you something else now that I just looked quickly at the rest of the sentence. You didn't even need to put me or my here because the subject of both of these clauses is the same. It's I. I was not aware. So despite being very aware of the importance of it, you didn't even need to put me. The only time we need to put the pronoun in front of this is if the um, subject of the other clause or the rest of the sentence is something different. All right, so you could have left it out. 
Okay, that was a rather long grammar explanation, but let's keep moving. So, despite being very aware of the importance of it, or rather what would have been really nice is, despite being aware, very aware of its importance, I was not able to take the test due to fever and pharyngitis caused by a highly contagious virus I caught over the long weekend. Since I live alone in the city and could not leave my home, I had no means to send or deliver my doctor's certificate, which you will find enclosed. As the examination is an important part of the final grade, and given the very unusual circumstances, please consider rescheduling the examination date in order for me to not be affected academically by this illness. I thank you in advance. Okay, and then yours faithfully, which is perfect. Guess what? This is lovely on so many levels. I mean, the grammar is very nice, the vocabulary is very nice, the register is absolutely appropriate, it's very formal, um, it's a really good job. Guess what? it still would lose marks. I know you're shocked. Let me tell you why. Because look at this fourth bullet. Possible resolutions. What does that mean? It means they don't want you to consider one resolution, which is just rescheduling the exam. What they want is you to give them multiple resolutions. So, Fernando, as you can see, the, um, this is the kind of thing you want to pay really very close attention to with these letters in general um, IELTS. Uh, in fact, I recently made a podcast um, on this site about general writing. And this is one of the pieces I covered. So, really do be careful with the language of these bullets, okay? They will tell you what you need to answer and how much detail you need. So, if it's some uh, solutions or possible resolutions like this, which is plural, definitely give more than one, okay? But the language was beautiful. Everything was really, really nice. It read very easily. Uh, it flowed nicely, so good job. Keep on writing, but what I want you to be aware of is some of these um, test-taking skills, okay? In order to make sure that you don't lose marks um, for little, like, IELTS test um, details. Okay? So nice job. Keep on writing. Um, I really want to see more of these essays from you. I hope you found this feedback helpful. So uh, with that, I say farewell and good luck writing.